My mother said to me at a, about that same time when I was 14 or 16, she said that Landis had no prejudice in it. Landis, she said, was just everybody, um, you know, together when she was a child. She did not talk about the places that we could not go. She just said, no, I grew up, everybody was, you know, talking and playing with everybody. Well, then when I got older, I found out that it was just a little bit sugar-coated. When I moved down here as an adult, living up north where they say you have fewer problems with prejudice, etc. Once I was talking to a neighbor in a public place and I said to her that um, I wasn't feeling well. She said to me, well, let's pray. And when she said that, I thought, oh my goodness, I've been living in New York and all around the place for years and years over 40 years somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And this woman, who was not of my color, said, let us pray. And I thought about my childhood. I don't even know what churches white people attended. Mm -hmm. I had never heard anyone want to share, you know, their, their feelings of God with me. And, so I just started looking at things and that was a turning point for me because I actually looked for the differences and put them aside and started concentrating on what we liked. Patricia McLeod, she has a little saying, people may be your color and not your kind, or they can be your kind and not your color. And I started looking at that, and sure enough, that's what I run into now. To live life fullest and to keep a heart for God, you just have to be able to, to uh, love people for who they are. And that's one of the reasons I call Salisbury God's Little Acre. Every time somebody is in trouble in my neighborhood, everybody becomes involved. You know, and, and, and they do the good. They do what's good. Not just my community where I live, but other communities, they've gotten together and they've prayed and they've met and they've got covenant connection. And for the doubters, you know, those that doubt that anything would ever change, it's not true. Yeah. We see it with our own eyes, but we want to be stuck back in, um, the times that weren't glorious as they are now. And we stay stuck back there, and so you don't see the many, many wonderful changes that, that go on here in, in Salisbury. I love Salisbury. I mean, that's period. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs>